Hey guys, this is video number three. Here I'm going to show you day two after surgery, day three, and then day four or five, somewhere around there, which is the same day that I had my very first checkup post-op. Um, enjoy! Okay, so it is uh, Saturday, so uh, surgery was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, second day post-op. Um, feeling a lot better. Ice is my best friend right now, and I'm able to lift my arm. My right side hurts a little bit more. They said that's normal for one side to hurt a little more, and the only thing to really look out for is when one side is more swollen. And... Um, eating a lot of light foods, um, able to eat things that are a little less, like I had a cupcake today, so that was exciting for me. And um, yeah, they've been very helpful, giving me different phone numbers and call in case they've had any questions. Like I did call when one site hurt more than the other because that was something that was on the list to do if something went wrong. And they said everything was fine and so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good at this moment. They're really hard as rocks. Um, I'll try to show you. Like right now, they're just kind of way up there and almost to the collarbone. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty funny. Um, but um, Monday, I get my bandages off, so we'll take a look then, a better look, and uh, that's it. Okay, so it is day three post-op. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I was able to get around the house, clean up a little bit, make my own food. Um, walking is really slow still because I do still feel some sharp pain sometimes when I move certain directions. The exercises have been excellent. Um, when you exercise, you have to do this with both arms. You have to do some shoulder rolls, which for me has been the most painful. And then you have to put your hands over your head like this, which is no big deal, except for sometimes you hear some squashing um, on the sides. And for me, my right side hurts the most, so uh, that's not good. But um, yeah, here you go. Here's a good view of how they're healing right now. They look a little bit bigger because of there's padding inside of there and things like that. Um, I did get a 475 cc implant. And they are looking bigger because not only there's padding, but there's some swollen in there. And if you want to take a look inside right now, they put you in this nice bra. Obviously, I told you before. And you don't really get a good look of the cleavage because you're still so spaced out. Um, icing, icing, icing. Still helping the medication. I'm almost done with it which is saddening me because I feel like it's helping me tremendously. And um, I'm able to eat whatever I want, I think anyway, because I have been. And besides what's restricted on the list of things I'm not supposed to be eating, um, a lot of liquids, trying to get that bloating out and that um, swelling away. But yeah, I'm doing good. I feel a lot better, moving around a lot better. The only time I fall asleep is... Right after medication, as I only time I can keep my eyes open is after it wears off a little bit because otherwise I'm just clonked out like every three seconds. I can't get comfortable or I'm definitely falling asleep. So driving is a big no-no for me right now. But yeah, all right. So I'll keep you updated. Hi guys. So today. I am totally off my pain medications. I am starting to use my Tylenol. I decided not to do the refill just because, I don't know, I, I just thought I could do it on my own. It's not that bad anymore. I'm feeling a lot better and I got a little pleasant surprise today. The Dr. Otto Placid's office and his staff, they sent me flowers in the mail and it's orchids and I think they're so pretty because that's my favorite flower and my favorite color is purple. So um, they had no idea and I'm really pleasantly surprised. So thank you if you guys watch this video. Watching TV, I'm taking these lovely days off from work and school and using them to my benefit and catching up on all my girly movies. <laughs> I'm still wearing this lovely bra. I choose to put these here because it's more comforting for me. Um, boobs are coming together nicely. 
we are coming closer together, which is good. So I'm excited about that. I'm starting to feel like a real woman. And I thought it was funny because when I got those flowers in the mail, I thought they were for my grandma. And I thought they were going to say something like, your flowers have finally blossomed or something like that because that's kind of how I feel. Right now it is... Home bruise is pretty bad. And I'll show you the other one here. Yeah, that's what you're gonna experience. It's really uncomfortable when when you move around because you're not used to it. And uh yes, you know, I went from having nothing to having something there and I mean I've already accidentally opened a door and like hit myself in the boobs with it because I'm not used to having boobs there to hit and so that was kind of comical but it also hurt a lot I can't really explain it like a constant uncomfortable feeling like you can't just lay there and watch tv and feel comfortable it doesn't hurt it's just uncomfortable kind of like when you have cramps but they don't really hurt but you know it's just that bloating kind of gross feeling um this is exactly what it feels like but up here